Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of St. Charles, located in Arkansas County, Arkansas, on June 17, 1862. On June 17, a small Union fleet carrying U.S. Colonel Graham N. Fitch's 46th Indiana Infantry was escorted by the naval ships Mound City, St. Louis, Lexington, and Conestoga. They were attacked by two heavy shore guns on the St. Charles Bluff that were under the command of Confederate Navy Captain Joseph Fry. The first shell fired ruptured a Mound City steam drum, filling the entire ship with scalding steam and killing more than 105 men. In addition, there was more than 44 men injured. In response to the attack, the Union ships landed just south of the Confederate artillery battery. There, Colonel Fitch and his Union troops moved back up the shoreline and attacked the Confederate troops at the battery. Unfortunately for Confederate Captain Fry, he did not have enough infantry to hold off the Union troops, and by the end of the afternoon, he had surrendered. Colonel Fitch had won. While inflicting only 40 killed or wounded on Confederate forces, he did silence the Confederate guns overlooking the river. In turn, the Union suffered approximately 160 killed and wounded, most from the damage the Mound City received at the beginning of the battle. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.